a local track and field club making a difference on and off the track. Charlotte Flights has been doing this for almost 20 years. It's trained and worked with some pretty talented athletes who have later gained national recognition. And our Ruby Durham found out more on the group's mission and how it's working to keep our youth safe. For 20 years, the Charlotte Flights has been teaching kids all across the Charlotte area how to stay on the right path through the sport of track and field. Here at Johnson C. Smith University is where the training begins. Charlotte Flights started in 1991 with a couple of dozen children. They have grown to over 200 kids participating with the program today. The club was a way to keep youth in the Charlotte area engaged. The original mission of the club set forth by the, the founder and original head coach, uh, Anthony James, was, you know, kind of to give more kids a positive outlet um, you know, through tracks. Partnering with some local organizations, the club opened its arms to anyone who wanted to run, and they tried to keep membership fees affordable. Make it a all comers club, you know, try to make it cheap enough that, you know, um, that's not a barrier to entry and kind of focus on growth with kids. The head coach now is Nigel Orr, and he knows what these kids are going through because he used to be one. He says his parents got him involved to keep him on the straight and narrow. How do I keep these kids off these streets and out of trouble. And the flights are one way that we did that. Because virtually all summer, you know, we're going to track practice, we're going to track meets. We're trying to do something positive rather than, you know, just running around doing, you know, getting into whatever you can get into when you're out there and unattended. With positive role models from the volunteers of Charlotte Flights, the hope is to keep Charlotte area youth in the right lane and also producing more all-American runners. Some of them will be talented enough that they really take to your training and they take off and become national champions and all that kind of stuff. But the real mission is any kid that comes out there, for them to be able to document their own improvement. And for a lot of these kids, if they don't have positive mentorship, positive leadership, what they get from the coaches and the board at the track meets, that might be the closest thing they get to someone holding them accountable. When the club travels for track meets, they want to bring as many runners as possible. It not only gives them exposure, but also teaches them life lessons. Help from the community will allow that to happen without being a heavy burden on families. If you'd like to donate or volunteer your time, find the story on our website, WCNC.com. I'm Ruby Durham, WCNC Charlotte.